Tonight we found a small memorial has been placed off of Great Hills Trail in the Arboretum. It's near the area where Alyssa Broderick, Amanda Broderick, and Willie Simmons III were killed Sunday. A note reads, you were loved by many and will be remembered. Video of police arresting the man accused of killing them has led to some tactical questions. Stephen Broderick was apprehended in Mater on early Monday morning. KXN's Jayla Washington watched that video with a retired law enforcement officer who has decades of experience. She asked him to explain to us what officers were up against and why they went about the arrest the way they did. Let me see your hands. Dash cam right footage there. showing Stephen Broderick's arrest, who police called armed and dangerous. Fingers on top of your head. Shows while he's being cuffed, his Fingers right hand is free right just right momentarily, which was close to his pistol on his waistband before being confiscated by an officer. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Dr. Howard Williams is with Texas State Criminal Justice Department. He's also a former Austin Police Department officer of 25 years and was San Marcos's police chief for 11. Does anything in particular stand out to you when you watch that arrest video? That was textbook. I mean, that's exactly the way uh, that you're taught to do it. Williams now, explained to me that the officers took mind, complete control the of the situation. They did what we call triangulate on the suspect, or just some a little off to his left some a little off to his right. His right hand was free. Are officers looking out for that? If another fairly large person is standing right behind you, there's no room for somebody else to kind of help you. One hand holds the suspect, one hand holds the handcuffs to start putting them on. And Dante Wright's arrest in Minneapolis, who was shot and killed, not a threat like Broderick. There's really no comparing the two. You can see police used similar tactics, and there was a struggle. The difference between these two cases, he's not in a car. He's standing out on the street. He's surrounded by officers. But a situation can escalate at a moment's notice. And how do you safely detain individuals? You can't always safely detain people. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. We asked the former police chief if he thinks officers should be trained to handcuff people differently. He said the way it's done now is the most practical, but said police are always looking for ways to improve practices.